So, the name of the game that I chose was Columns, which is a classic arcade game, and the goal is to pop gems that are the same color that are three, four, and five in a row. And the game starts when a gem of a column of three gems of and has of random colors is dropped from the top. And while the column is dropping, the player controls the column by moving it side to side and rotating the positions of the gems inside the falling column. And the gems keep stacking until they reach the top of the game area, and then the game is over. So I learned. Um, how to use three things. I learned how to use arrays, for loops, and while loops. So arrays are like boxes for storage and coding. First you can you allocate the space, then you can store numbers or values in them. And there are also two dimensional arrays which are which are where the array is like a grid, such as the background in the columns game. And this is a one dimensional array. These are both two dimensional arrays. So, for loops, um, during the game, when I was programming, I, w I figured out that some parts of the game would take too long to type over and over again, so I used for loops. For loops are used to repeat code a predetermined number of times. So, there's four parts to a for loop. There's the, um, the you have to declare a counter, then there's condition, and then there's the code for the condition, there's a uh, code if the condition is true, then you have to increment the counter, and then that keeps cycling until the condition is false. Uh, one example of a for loop in my game is to at the beginning, it goes through all the 78 boxes in the gameplay area, and um, sees if it's empty or not, and if it's not, if it is empty, then it goes to the next box, if it's not empty, then it clears the box. So, while loops are used to repeat a specific block of code an unknown number of times. So, while loops have a condition, and if the condition is true, then you do the code inside the loop, and then it keeps looping until the condition is false. So, while loops are used in this game to check if the gem has two, three, or even four more gems in line with it vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. Then marks them, and later in another method, pops the marked gems. So, the program. For, uh, first, you check if there's an active column in the game area. Make the next column become the active column, and then you create a new next column. Then you increase the count and level, the column count and the level. So, if there is an active column in the game area, then you check if the fall, uh, falling counter has reached its limit. Then you check if the column can move down. If it can, if it can move it down by half a square and increase the points by five. If it can't move down and it's high, it's like three. Um, it's two row. It, the bottom gem is two rows down. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, then the game end the game, other or check and pop gems, and then if otherwise, handle the key press and move the column around. So details about the check and pop gems method. So you move the gems from the active column to the background, and then you remove the the active column since it's already in the background. And then if and then this while loop checks for um checks if the um gems uh if there are any if there are gems three in a row and then it pops them and gives you one hundred points for each um gem that you pop and if and once it's done popping, if there's another round of gems that can be popped, the popping points will be 200 for each gem, and so on and so forth. And so the check and mark gems to pop is a for loop that goes through all the, uh, the whole array and 
Mark's gems that are three in a row and are the same color straight down to the right, southeast, and southwest. Thanks for listening. Okay, so this is the game, and you control it with... You control it with... Yeah, can you tell the volume more? Yeah, more, much more. Okay, forget it. Just goes down. And then it keeps stacking, and it pops, and... It can, it can, uh, and then once it reaches the top, then it's game over. Sound? No sound, right? It sounds like no, no one's working. Oh, okay. No, your program's working, just.